Hey guys, really exciting news. Steve Aoki, one of the, I don't know, investors, influencers. I don't even know how to um, say what he was in MetaZoo, but he was a really important part of MetaZoo. Is teaming up with another influencer, which is Sports Card Investor. Sports Card Investor actually talked about MetaZoo with Steve Aoki multiple times and before he was with the creator of MetaZoo, Mike Waddell, promoting it very similar to Alpha Investments. So Alpha Investment, it looks like has been replaced and looks like the team of Aoki and the team of Jeff Wilson are ready to uh, do a great job with MetaZoo. Maybe they're going to bring the brand back and it will be stronger than ever. Maybe they are going to uh, go to, I mean, the MetaZoo, the hero set, which is Steve Aoki's cards. I did not realize this until right now because, again, I don't, I'm not really a MetaZoo fan. Um, it turns out it's almost identical, at least the template and so on is almost identical to MetaZoo, like regular MetaZoo. So I believe Hero Quest it uses the same attack and same it's the same game mechanics as Meta Zoo. So if Hero Fest, which Steve Aoki does seem to be wanting to work on and continue to sell and promote, and obviously that's why he's on Jeff Wilson's show, Sports Card Investor. Uh, they can still continue the Meta Zoo legacy, right? I mean, it's really obvious. I think what's happening here is that these two together may, I mean, even to the point that who knows, maybe Jeff Wilson buys Meta Zoo and then he puts it, you know, he already carries Meta Zoo in his card shop. Therefore, it's not that big of a stretch, at least in my opinion, for him to then not only carry MetaZoo, but also be the owner of MetaZoo and having his own card shop. So, you know, uh, whenever I think of Steve Aoki, I think of MetaZoo because he's been everywhere promoting it and the NFTs and so on. And I, I don't know why Steve just doesn't take it. I mean, I, I guess it's it's there for the taking, uh, essentially, uh, in my opinion, that, um, yeah, Steve can just take it and Jeff Wilson will be uh, one hundred percent into it, and they can begin MetaZoo from scratch, which I think is pretty incredible. Um, in all reality, <laughs> all seriousness, yeah, these two were the biggest outside of Alpha Investment. These two were the biggest uh, individuals to really promote uh, the game, and now they're both together again, physically together. Uh, last time they were together, they were promoting the Meta Zoo with uh, Mike Waddell. Mike Waddell is not no longer here, so why? I mean, why not? I mean, honest to God, like this is the team, right? I mean, I think they can do it uh, because, in my opinion, you you definitely need somebody like Steve Aoki, and you definitely need somebody like, who has a game store so they can promote gameplay. That Mike dude, like, I don't really know what his deal was, but it seemed like he was trying to tank the company. There was a lot of uh, weird things that he was doing, and especially the notes. The notes always get me. It's like, why would you trust this guy? I mean, he literally lies to you nonstop, right? He lied to you about your streamer kit pre-orders. He lied to you about the Valentine's pre-orders. He lied to you about this and that and this and that. And then and then he comes out with a letter and all the MetaZoo fans are like, oh, you see, you see? And then the first thing he does in the letter is he states that all the players will be paid by 2023. And something as provable as that was false. So, like, whoever this Mike Waddell character is, like, he did not do a good job. He did not do a good job. And I think you really don't want um, Alpha. And I think they've learned you, you probably don't want Alpha Investment involved to be quite frank with you, or Argos Anonymous, or any of these individuals, because their involvement, it was a fail. Uh, it was a fail. So I'm looking at these Hero Quest cards, and I, <laughs> there, there's a video, so it's in Jeff Wil Wilson's video. Aren't they exactly the same as MetaZoo cards? <laughs> like, I'm looking at the, and he's like, 
it's like the same artist, it's the same people, like what is uh what is going on here? I mean there was a lot of Meta Zoo crap. Um and a lot of people lost a lot of money along the way, but at least, you know, here maybe they can um yeah, maybe they can. So you, this this is the Hero Quest. Like, aren't these just Meta Zoo cards with Hero Quests on the corner? And then like, in the, like, am I am I going crazy here? Like, what? Like, am I am I crazy? Isn't this just Hero Quest? I mean, isn't this just Meta Zoo? Aren't aren't these the same characters even? Like, I don't know. I mean, are these new characters or whatever? Like. They've got Mothman again. I mean, how many Mothmans can get? The, the fact that they, like, they have so many cryptids from the world, right? And they always do just do Mothman. <laughs> it's a creativity level of zero in this game set. There is an opportunity. I think um, these two would do fine because one of them is a businessman. Jeff Wilson took $2 million of PPP loans forgiven for his marketing agency. So one of them owns a marketing agency, and one of them. So one of them is more of a business type of dude. That would be Jeff Wilson from Sports Card Investor, and the other one is more of a promoter. That would, of course, be Steve Aoki with cake throwing and so on. As long as they're not printing like mother effing like twenty five promos of themselves, I don't know. I mean, maybe they are. Maybe Steve Aoki has twenty five promos. I, I, I look at Hero Quest, and uh, no, honestly, like. I look at Hero Quest and like, isn't this the same game? Like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, to me, a bystander who is not knowledge, not super knowledgeable about the history of Meta Zoo, I look at that and I say to myself, yeah, I think this is the same thing, right? I think this is the same thing. So, yeah. Pretty fascinating type of stuff. Definitely something um, to look at and, and think about. Could MetaZoo come back? And what does that mean from an investment? So, I mean, it means like, okay. Obviously, you don't want to be in a dead card game. This should be obvious to anyone. right? Your value of a dead card game is very, very near bottom. Um, I can tell you as, any, as someone, there, there's still value, but the liquidity is none because there's no like, oh, hype, oh, a new card game is coming or this is coming, you're, you're just in a dead card game. Uh, there's not much that can happen there, like, to be honest with you, right? Like, it's, you know, I, I play free dead card games right now, Inuyasha, Meta X, and uh, Fire Emblem Cypher. I enjoy collecting, I enjoy the game very, very much, but it's a dead card game. Um, what, what do you want me to say? Like, it's a, like, like what do you want me to say, right? It, it's, it's not living. So, good news for MetaZoo fans. Like, truly, this is probably the best news they've ever heard for a uh, in a very long time. 